I put this on. I'm not, uh, I'm not advertising for Merrill Lynch, but I trained at Merrill Lynch, as, as I've made clear again, back in 1981. The reason I bring that up in is because we were at 780 in 1981. Reagan became president. In 1987, the high that year was not 780. It was 20, about 2750. That's the kind of five-year period yeah. that we had. What were you doing then? You were, you well, were a young I, I was in college at you were that in college. point. Um, it's great to see the bull, by the way. Once a member of the Thundering Herd, always a member. I, I think that's true. Uh, great the, firm. Uh, 1987, since then, uh, we've had four declared recessions. We have five times where the market's drawn down more than 20%. Nevertheless, markets are up more than 20-fold. Uh, yeah. Since 1987, just to keep it in perspective. People, a couple of things people forget. 1987 started at about 1800. The market had gained 43% to 2700 and change. And then it stayed there till in August, and it stayed there till about October 2nd. October 2nd, uh, between October 2nd and the 16th of October, it had dropped 15% in a two week period. Then it dropped another 23%. So that was frightening. But the NASDAQ is already down, is down 35% in a slow, sort of a sickening drop yeah. for eight months. So we're, we're ha we have sim a similar uh, percentage loss in the NASDAQ that we had at the end of the crash. Yeah. I mean, when you, uh, Joe, when you look at the markets today, we think we're about 90% of the way to what a, a normal drawdown looks like when we see, when we see a bear market unfolding. Um, as you said, there's some similarities, of course, with 1987. But there's much more that is different. I mean, when you think about the strength of the U.S. economy today, think about where the consumer is. Brian was on CNBC on Monday. The consumer's hanging in there. They've been very resilient. Um, and, and around our client base, we see innovation uh, and many other things happening, indicative of ongoing strength in the real economy. So, you know, from our standpoint, markets are going to remain under pressure while the Fed is in this tightening cycle. But when you think medium and long term, back to our 87 reference, you have to be bullish. But your guys aren't nearly as dependent on transactional yeah. trades either anymore. And that's been a, a long uh, transition to wrap fees and, you know, you get a, a percentage of assets uh, under management. But they must, your guys must be telling you, guys and gals, that, that there's, um, I don't know, it, it, it's not very exciting to be in this business that you're in right now for your guys? I, I mean, well, the, is there interest in, in stocks right now well, if you're losing a, money every day? It, it's exciting because uh, there's a passion for serving our clients. But you're, you're exactly right. The conversations today, totally different. Conversations used to be buy, sell, hold all day. Conversations today are about planning. You know, that, that's what it's about. In the marketplace, there's a lot of people looking for advice today, naturally, in this market. And so that brings, you know, that brings a lot of excitement to our business because we see people around us who are realizing to navigate markets like these, it helps to have a partner, helps to have an advisor. You remember Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.